highly esteemed viewers, welcome to our mathematics tutorial for today. Today we are going to take a unique solution, math solution that have to do with integration. We are going to consider the limits of integration. And in today we're going to give I'm going to give you a brief introduction of what integration is, and then we'll solve this unit, this question using integration by parts, which is different from the back integration method you are known with using to solve question on integration if you are new here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more unique mathematics solution and also remember to also hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever i upload my daily mathematics uh, content thank you now to solve this question i want you to recall some rules that goes with integration Remember, integration is the opposite of differentiation. And so when we differentiate something, dx, dy, of a function with respect to x, we'll come to see that our result can be g of x. That is exactly what our result will do, b. Now, if we integrate this result, g of x at a given limit, let's say limit 0 to 1, which respects to x, we're going to arrive at the value which we differentiated initially plus a constant. So this is exactly how you go about uh, doing integration. And you also remember that the normal integration that if you are integrating the general formula for integration, if you are integrating a constant, let's say a value x, x to the value of x to the power of n with respect to x, remember that if you integrate this value, you are going to have, applying the laws of integration, you're going to have your x to the power of n, you add one to the numerator and it will be divided by n your swan plus your constant. This is how you go about integration. So remember this point as we'll be making application of this point in the video today. Now, let's get started. I'm going to use uh, the differentiation integration by parts to solve this and this, and then we'll use the back integration method to solve this so that you see how we play around the back integration method, which is the normal integration method people use in solving questions like this. Now let's look at the first part. We have integration of 2x with given limit, 2x divided by x squared plus 1 with respect to x. Now, given this, we are going to use the path substitution method. So we'll take our u to be equal to x squared plus 1. So having our u to be equal to x squared plus 1, let's differentiate with respect to x this value. We we'll differentiate this value with respect to x. Remember, this will give us 0. And this will be what? 2 multiplied by x with 2 minus 1. Remember, and this will give us uh, a 2x. So that is the rule that goes with differentiation. So that means uh, du will be equal to 2x dx. So what we need from here is this and this. And don't forget the limits. The limit is between 1 and 2. So we are going to also uh, work on the limit, giving our u to be equal to x squared plus 1. We have our first limit, uh, x to be equal to 1. We work on that unit, our u will be equal to 1 square will be 1 plus 1, and that will be equal to 2, right? And the other limit we have, we have our x to be equal to 2, right? That's up there. Good. So if we have that, all we need to do is to insert value for x into this. So we have our u, we have our u to be equal to x squared, that's 2 squared, 
plus 1. And that will give us 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. So that means our new limit will be 2 and the upper limit will be 5. Now, considering that we have our 2x dx to be equal to uh, du, which is 2x dx. So we are going to substitute that here. So we'll have uh, what? We'll have uh, du divided by the square root of u because we have our u to be equal to x squared plus 1. Good. So having done that, this will be differentiated with respect to u this time around. Remember, we are differentiating using the uh, differentiation by part. So let's solve that value. If we solve this, we are going to have a differentiation of 5. The limit 2 to 5. This will give us 1 divided by root u uh, du. Sorry, uh, this should be off. This should be off it because this should be 1 divided by uh, du, right? So that is exactly what that will give us. So this will be equal to, remember, 1 divided by, remember, a 1 divided by, 1 divided by root u can be equal to u negative 1 to the power of 2. So if we have that, we are going to have this limit, 5, 2, to be equal to u negative 1 divided by 2 du. And when we integrate this whole value, remember, integration, the negative power will be added to 1 by 1, and this will give us half. And then you, you divide the whole value by this, which is 1 divided by 2. So if we have our, that will give us our u to the power of 1 divided by 2, all divided by 1 divided by 2. So this will give us 2u, 1 divided by 2. Good. That's the value that differentiation will give us with respect to that. So we are going to have uh, 2 multiplied by u to the power of half with the limit 5 limit. 2 to 5. So if we differentiate that, we are going to have uh, uh, 2. This will become the square root of u all to the limit 5 and 2. And this whole value will now give us a result to be 2 into bracket. The upper limit, which is 5, minus the lower limit, which is 2. So our result will be equal to this, which is equal to the same result you get when you use the backward back, back substitution or back in substitution integration method. Now let's look at the second method. We are going to look at integration with the given limit minus one and one, the value of two x plus one squared. So let's integrate that. If we integrate that, we'll have we have the value integration with 1 minus 1, the value of 2x plus 1, right, square with respect to s. So we're going to take our u to be equal to 2x plus 1. So we have our u to be equal to 2x plus 1, so our du our du dx will be equal to, this will give us 0, and this will be equal, equal to 1 minus 1, which is 0. So this will give us what? 0 raised to the power 0, 0 will be 1. So this will give us 2 dx. So we've gotten the value of u and the value of du. So having gotten the value of u and du, we can now look for the limit. So let's look for the limit we we'll have our u to be equal to 2x plus 1, right? So when our x is equal to minus 1 as the limit, we'll have our u to be equal to 2 multiplied by minus 1, 
plus 1. And this will give us minus 2 plus 1, and that will be equal to minus 1. So we still have our limits to be equal to minus 1. And then when we have our x to be equal to our 1, we'll have our u to be equal to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1, and this will be equal to 3. So let's, having gotten this limit, we're going to go back to uh, our normal integral value. We have uh, 2x plus 1, which is equal to the value of u, and then we have a value of dx. So we're going to make a dx here. Remember, uh, dx will now be equal to du divided by 2. So if we implant that into the equation, bearing in mind our new li limits, we are going to have the limit of minus 1, 3, right? And that one will give us uh, u square. That will give us u square multiplied by du over 2. So simplifying that now, that's what we need. We're going to take this, which is half, multiply by this whole integral because we can integrate that constant. We'll have a u square du. So if we integrate a u square, we're going to have u to the power of 3 divided by what? 3. So having gotten that, we'll have this results to now be equal to 1 divided by 3 multiplied by u to the power of a 3 divided by 3. This is 1 divided by 2 rather. And this will be to the limit of 3 minus 1, 2. A three. So let's simplify that. This will give us 1 divided by 6 u to the power of 3 with limit of 3 and minus 1. So if we implement that limit, we're going to have our 1 divided by 6 all multiplied by u squared will be 3 to the power of 3, which is the upper limit, minus brackets minus 1 to the power of 3, which is the lower limit. So we'll have our 1 divided by 6 into bracket 27. This will give us a negative plus 1. So we'll have a result to be equal to 1 divided by 6 multiplied by 28, which is equal to 28 divided by 6. And this will be equal to 14 divided by what 3. So the value for that integral value will be, because this divided by 2 will go here to give us 3, and 2 will go here to give us 1, and 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So the value for that integral value will be 14 divided by 2. Now let's consider the last, uh, the last question that is given to us. We are asked to integrate uh, e to the power of 3x with respect to s, giving limit of 0 to 1 divided by 3. Now let's look at how we can integrate that using the back substitution method. We are given limit of 1 divided by 3, 0, and we are asked to integrate this to the power of x with respect to x. Now let's use a, let's look at the integration using the back uh, integration method, back substitution method of integration. So if we use that, we are going to have we're going to integrate this whole value with respect to x. So if we integrate that, we'll have uh, this whole value will still remain the integral value of this will still remain this divided by this divided by uh, divided by 3 right that will still give us that value so this will give us 1 divided by 3 multiplied by the integral value of 3x 
remember the integration of this with limit of 1 3 and 0 the integration of this value will always give us the same words the same value now divided by the constant which is 3 so if we simplify that we are going to have 1 divided by 3 multiplied by the upper limit will give us e to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 divided by 3 and the lower limit will give us uh, e to the power of 3 multiplied by 0 and that will give us this so we'll have 1 divided by 3 all to the bracket of e to the power of this will give us 1 minus e to the power of 0 so finally we'll have a result to be equal to 1 divided by 3 to the power of e to the power of 1 minus 1 and this will be equal to e to the power of 1 minus 1 or e minus 1 divided by what by 3 and that will be the result of the integral value of this using uh using the back substitution method so we see solving integration can be very easy when you follow when you solve using any method it can be the substitution method it can also be the back substitution it can be integration by part method or you use the back substitution method you are going to get the same result as a good uh, tax I want to give you I want you to try using the integration method by parts to solve this last question and see if you arrive at the same result try it and drop your comments in the your answer in the comment section I'll be glad to go through it thanks so much for watching and do well to subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solution questions thanks and bye, -bye.